hello everyone welcome to the engineering projects youtube channel in this video tutorial i will guide you how you can change background color of c sharp checklist box there are two methods by which you can change the color the first is the front end and second is back end method first you have to click on checklist box then search here for back color uh, like this and from this window uh, you can change the color and you can execute the program to preview the effect here and if you want to change that from backend then you can use to declare check list box one dot back color is equal color dot the list of color will appear here and you can select any kind of color and I will add some values like dot items dot add demo and replicate that now execute the program when I will click the button the background color of C sharp checklist box get changed into dark green like this or even that you can use these check boxes uh, to set the color of background like I will say uh, I will say uh, it's represent red green yellow and blue and we will say that whenever if checklist box one dot selected uh, item is equal red or dot to string or we can use index to the checklist box dot back color change into color dot red let's execute and preview the effect I will check this and click on this and background color is changed into red and replicate the code else it will check it that if it's green make it green else if it yellow make it yellow else if it's blue make it blue and we have done now execute the program and mark on red and the red color is implemented as background mark color green and green, uh, green is implemented as background mark yellow and yellow is implement as background and in last blue will implement as a background and you can preview that only the selected item so it's the selected item or it's the selected item so its value is implemented uh, on the screen as a background of check list box if you want to make sure that only implement the color if they get checked or not checked then you can use check state here in this code with an other if statement within a if statement if you have any kind of question regarding this you can ask us and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel